Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, we are going to try this light up crystal growing science kit. Apparently, we get to grow crystals in our house with this Dan and Darcy science kit. Over here it says, for ages six and up, grow three sparkly crystals. This is USB powered, no batteries needed. Oh, and there's a warning. This set contains chemicals that Amy be harmful if misused. Amy, what have you done? Apparently, Amy is at fault here. Read cautions on individual containers carefully, not to be used by children except under adult supervision. All right, so there's suspicions about Amy in this crystal growing science kit. Ooh, fun facts about crystals. Crystals are dug up from deep in the earth and came in every possible shape and in every color, from bright green to deep reds to stunning purples. People around the world have collected, polished, and enjoyed them, some even believing they have special powers. Ooh. Bringing them up into the light after the thousands of years it takes them to form. <gasps> and we get to grow them in a couple of hours? Or maybe a couple of days? At least it's not a thousand years. Oh yeah, by the way, I purchased this kit on Amazon.com. Of course, the Amazon is always the best place to find these fun little kits. Okay, that is it. What do we have here? This is everything. We've got the instructions guide, instructions in Spanish, crystal growing powder. Oh look, you can see the colors on here too. So I guess we're getting red crystals in this one, blue crystals on this one, and we've got white. What's this stuff? Oh, that's why it helps to read the instructions. Three crystal starters, some tweezers, a micro USB cable, three growing cups, and one mixing stick. Never mind, we've got the light up crystal display. All right, so before you start anything, remember always use caution when doing any type of experiment. The first step up is get the cup ready, everything's dry and nice and precise. Here is the fill line. If you guys can see, I've got a fill line here. I'm gonna need to put one pack of the growing crystal, so let's get everything out of the way. Let's have you guys get nice and close. And I'm gonna do the red pack it first. Make sure all the powder is on the bottom so I get no surprises when I rip the top open. You guys may want to wear gloves if you're doing this at home, but I'm just gonna try not to touch it. All right, so we've got the red crystals in there. You guys can see they look like sugar, but you definitely do not want to put this in your mouth. You don't even want to breathe it. Probably should be wearing a mask when you do this. This next step is going to be really dangerous because I've got some boiling hot water. It has to be boiling, otherwise the crystals won't grow. It can't be hot, it can't be warm. It has to be boiling, bubbles and all. So. Gotta be really careful as I pour the boiling water from my electric kettle to the fill line. That line I just showed you, yep, it's going in there. It's almost like we're making jello. Next up is using the stick they gave us. We're supposed to stir this for a long time, a really long time. So here we go, we're just gonna mix and mix and mix. I mean, it doesn't look like there's any powder left, right? Can you guys see any powder? I don't see any powder. Same process as the last. Yeah, so you see this powder on the bottom? That has to be all dissolved for the crystals to form right. You guys, I'm really curious to see if this is gonna work and what our crystals are gonna look like. Got it to the fill line and then stir for five to 10 minutes until there's no more of the powder on the bottom of the cup. All right, so here is the interesting part. I'm curious to know what this crystal maker looks like. We're not supposed to touch it too much, so that's what we have the tweezers for. Here it is. Oh, why does everything remind me of candy? This looks like those fruit gem candies, except those were like red, green, and orange colored. <laughs> And it says try to get it in here to where the flat part is against the cup. And you want to center it. Okay, so now all we got to do is wait a couple of days. The crystals will start to form within the first day and will keep growing for about a week. 
Okay guys, so I have these on another table because I needed my main table for other stuff, other videos. But here it is growing on the side. This is the first day and look how much the clear one grew. You can totally see that is a good size crystal in there. And it's gonna keep on growing for an entire week. So this is just the first day. You can't really see inside the blue one. It's a little too dark and the red one is a little too dark too. I can't really see anything growing inside there but I'm sure there's there's crystal growth in there too all right here we are day two and that is a pretty significant growth you can see that there's some growth over here on the side of the cup I don't know why that's there but it kind of looks like it's a pattern with the red and the white crystals the blue doesn't have that growth on the side of the cup that much but you can see that the blue kind of grew too same with the red they sort of look like sea urchins underneath the water all right day three and here we are with the growth of the crystals I think they grew a little more and we also have a little more crustage on the lip of the glass whoa the red is the red is just going cray cray with the crustage on the side of the cup wait a second is it day three or day four whoa that is so cool looks like an iceberg looks very scary if you were to accidentally put your hand on it there's the blue you can see the silhouette and the red we can actually see a little bit more today it's almost as if the liquid kind of cleared up finally the crystals are jutting out of the water there goes the blue and even the red is poking out of the water this should be day four or day five I kind of lost track on that third day don't remember if I checked in on it on the third day and got it on video but this should be the fourth or fifth day almost a week basically and finally here we are on the very last day this should be day seven because i didn't take any pictures on day six look how much these grew in a week we've got perfectly good crystals i say white takes the cake on this one at this point we are ready to take these out and you want to be really careful not to jab yourself that is so neat that is one pretty crystal. I do see some drying at the top of the crystals where it seems like the crystals formed like little crystal colonies, kind of looking like little bacteria colonies. But I think maybe if we dunk it in some of the water, it'll be fine. Let's see, let me try not to break it. Nope, the water doesn't help. I guess we're just gonna have to stay with those parts looking that way. I'm going to place the crystal on a piece of paper towel just so it can dry off before I put it on the lighting base. Now that the crystal is formed, the chemicals aren't dangerous for your skin anymore, so you don't need to wear gloves to touch it. For right now, I'm gonna place it right beside the white on the towel so it can soak up some of that water. And here we go, it's finally Red's turn. Oh, it broke, yep. It really is delicate. Look at that crystal. Okay, so red keeps breaking on me. <sighs> I don't want it to break. It's totally stuck at the bottom of the cup. I wonder if I could even get it out. <gasps> it keeps breaking. It almost seems like it crystallized itself stuck to the cup. Okay, okay, so now it's trying to come out. There you go. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, let's get red on the paper towel too so it can soak off. I have the base right here plugged up and ready, and I'm just gonna move the crystals right on top of it. And all you have to do is touch this part to light it up. Let's actually turn the lights off to get the full effect. And there you go. And you also have an option to change up the lighting. You can also have it be a disco ball. But I think I like that one way better. So congratulations. I now crown you Dr. Crystal Crafter. As much as I had so much fun hanging out with you, that's all I have for you today. Hope you guys had fun making crystals at home with me. And I will see you guys later.